With Season of the Wish coming to an end somewhat soon, PvP players like myself are looking for a good place to spend their Crucible Ender Amps before they're removed at the end of the season. So in today's video, I want to show you why Frozen Orbit might be the perfect place to spend your Ender Amps by breaking down what perks you should be going for, comparing Frozen Orbit to the sniper rifles you're probably using, and showing you why I've been using high impact sniper rifles for the last 30 years. Hit that sub button if you enjoy my content, it would like to help us reach 5k subs before the end of the year. And now that we have the intro out of the way, let's take a look at Frozen Orbit's perks. Recently, when I'm recommending secondary perks, I like to recommend stats to go for, rather than specific barrels or magazines. And in Frozen Orbit's case, that is going to be range for increased aim assistance from further distances, and handling for increased ADS speed and swap speed. I'm personally going for handling, as Frozen Orbit's range is really high at base, while its handling is quite low. The best barrels and magazines to achieve these stats are corkscrew rifling, full bore, hammer forged rifling, small bore, and accurized rounds. When it comes to third and fourth column perks, there are a lot of options, with a lot of them not being great, but standout perks are pretty solid. Those being Surplus, Moving Target, and Firmly Planted for the third column, and for the fourth column, I'm still a firm believer or coper when it comes to snapshot sights, despite its nerfs. But if you don't mind a slightly slower ADS speed, then Opening Shot or Quick Draw are the way to go. My personal rules are Firmly Planted and Moving Target Snapshot, with the Firmly Planted role being my high skill special weapon and still my main sniper to this day. Now that we have the perks out of the way, let's take a look at the other sniper rifles competing for the energy slot. I'm only going to be comparing Frozen Orbit to Mercurial Overreach and not below beloved, adored Uzume, or one of the other very solid adaptive frames out there, because at this point, I believe Mercurial is the best adaptive frame sniper rifle when it comes to both perks and stats. I know some people prefer other sights, but for the sake of this video, I'm going to consider Mercurial Overreach as the best energy adaptive frame sniper rifle. When comparing these two sniper rifles, Mercurial Overreach has better stats and a better perk combo in snapshot opening shot. With that being said, it's probably hard to understand why I'm using my Frozen Orbit when I have a god roll Mercurial Overreach sitting in my vault. But the reason for this comes down to the archetype. Adaptive frame sniper rifles like Beloved, Adored, Uzume, and Mercurial are all faster firing and lower damage than aggressive frame sniper rifles like Frozen Orbit. Now, real quick, before I go any further, there is one high impact that is straight up better than Frozen Orbit due to its perk pull, Lunar Regala 3. However, it drops from strikes, so I, and I'm assuming most other PvP players, are never going to get a good one. As to why I care about my sniper being a high impact frame, well, it enables you to one shot a lot of supers you couldn't not otherwise without forceful weapon, essentially opening up an entire other perk column. They also just feel extremely good to me. I can't explain it, but no other sniper hits heads quite like Frozen Orbit. So give Frozen Orbit a go, you might end up liking it as much as I do. Also, if Frozen Orbit isn't quite what you're looking for, I'm working on a video on an old Crucible weapon that is still insanely good. So sub to see that. Thank you all so much for watching, love seeing all your beautiful faces, and have an amazing day.